Hello and welcome to another update video about Nier. Yeah, Nier chart has put in, in my opinion, only a three wave rally here into the March highs. We talked about that extensively. So for me, that's not clearly a five wave move. We might call it five waves, but it more looks like if we look at the proportions here, yeah, it more looks like an ABC. It didn't quite reach the one to one ratio. So it could be a five wave move to the upside. Okay, so why is that important? Because an ABC rally like this doesn't give us clear probabilities, but we can still work with that. The problem is the only way to count a five wave move here, in my opinion, is by doing this one, two, three, four, five. And that looks completely um, out of, yeah, I don't know, out of shape. So it doesn't really look great proportions doesn't really don't really align here very well but you know never say never and it is technically possible to do that to call it maybe a leading diagonal in a wave one so that's why we keep the door open for higher prices especially as long as we are in a bullish market and the last support area i gave you was here this one so between 156 and 385 we can look at these fib levels if the price gets there actually um, if it can find some support, it might have already bottomed above the 38.2 retracement. That might be what happened. However, I need to see a five wave increase to yeah, have clear probabilities. So we are going to zoom in in a minute. If wave two has really bottomed, which is possible, yeah, then this wave two needs to, um, well, it would have completed. And what would happen next is a third wave rally. Not actually sure where the third wave is here. What would happen next is a third wave rally based on the wave count that we have here what we're dealing with it's measuring the wave one length and then we go to the low of the wave two and it would take us to round about 94 dollars in the third wave and then we have a four and a five so the wave four would then probably retrace to round about round about 40 dollars and i need to find the fifth wave not sure where it is but that's sort of Ideally how that would look like the only thing is I cannot confirm yet that the wave 2 has bottomed If it has I will give you a very clear invalidation point that needs to hold for that um, Because if it breaks then we are dealing with a more substantial Wave 2 correction. Okay, so the blue count just shows a wider Flat correction in which the wave 2 could easily extend but there's plenty of space in the support area left so if the third wave, circle wave three, has indeed started, I want to observe a first five wave move up because this third wave also consists of five waves. So it would be like wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. That would be how it ideally would unfold. And we want to we want to see the first wave to confirm this larger degree wave two is finished. And then we would get a wave two pullback. So basically getting, finding an entry in an uptrend in pullbacks. Now they're usually the lowest risk trades but here, obviously, due to the structure, the support area is very, very low. So we'll have to see maybe the bottom is already in. How would that look like and what would need to happen for that? Let me first shift this here into place. So looking at the structure, obviously, this was a corrective pullback. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a three wave move. I mean, it, it, is, it could be over, absolutely. But this could also just have been an A wave of a wider correction. Now, you might say this already looks like five waves. Well, it does visually, possibly, but you have to consider the subwave structures as well. So for me, this is only a three wave move up at the moment. With this information, I can add a micro support area. It's between $6.08 and $6.80. And as long as the $6.08 level is holding one more high in an impulse could happen. So a break below $6.08 would be a first indication that a B wave has topped because this is only a three wave rally. And as long as it's only in three waves, we have to consider this is a B wave. And then obviously, as soon as these five waves are completed, I can give you the next support area, which would be lower. I could already do that now, but um, this is basically for the, in, in case we already got five waves. I mean, I can always be wrong about that, right? It's possible that five waves already formed, but now I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they have formed. It's just not... Um, it's just not very clear yet, okay? So if five waves formed already, or if we get another high, then this would be the support area. It's just if we get another high, 
I have to adjust it. So maybe I'll take it off after the video. It's just that if we get another high, see, the support area will move with the price. But at the moment, the support would be 483 to 567 in case we break below $6.08. But because it hasn't given us a clear five wave move up yet, I don't think there's a great likelihood in this support area holding. So I'll take it off the chart again. But you might still want to try that, you know, in case you're trying to trade for the third wave. But I would prefer to see five clear waves. One more high would give us a cleaner five wave structure. And then, um, yeah, I can say, okay, probabilities are sort of clearly for upside trend continuation in the very short term, in the very short term. So anyway, um, this is what I see. I mean, three waves up at the moment. There is currently no indication that this entire rally is over, but below $6.08, that would become clearer. Then obviously we might test the other support areas I just gave you together with the previous structural support around $4.90, which is this wave too low. And looking at this pattern here, I mean, three waves up could be done. And now this wave four would then most likely unfold as an ABC structure. And then one more high should send us higher. If I look at the FIB levels, what would be an ideal target for the fifth wave from what I can see right now? See, it reached a 1.38 extension. That's an ideal target for a third. So the fifth should reach at least $8.24. Should reach at least $8.24. Let me take the fifths out that we don't need. But this is still something, these are sort of the next levels to watch there. Yeah. Third wave reached a 1.38, not quite, but that's close enough. It's the first ideal target, but the minimum was already reached. Could also be that I didn't draw the FIPS correctly, but no, they should be okay, yeah. So 764 is next resistance and then 824. Also don't forget about all these structural levels here. So there's some structural resistance here as well. That's my update about Nia. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.